Welcome, children. It is quite a sad day to be a Pokemon collector, I feel like. Because just recently, I went to um, my local store um, right when the vendor came and restocked. And all the pork I had was a few pink collections, which was this one and this one. Which is cool actually, I didn't know they had the Charizard one. This one I believe was from the Charizard GX collection box. And a toolkit. That's all the guy had, dude. Like, I talked to him and asked him, like, he, they just don't have anything right now. Just a crazy shortage. And it's only gonna get worse. And we'll talk about that right now. I saw this and I saw that it's got four packs, sleeves, and something else. I think it's a promo. I'm not sure. It usually has a list. Oh, right here, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's try to let's check this out. But yeah, um, yeah, I got. I got two of these, the Sun Shield. So let's open that. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what else to say, man. Like, like it's cool that Pokemon's getting more and more popular, I guess. But man, dude, it's getting so hard to find stuff. Away. Yeah, there's the pin. Ooh, really dope pin. Charizard. That looks really nice. I'm glad I got this. The only there was only one of them, and I got it. Got Rainbow Clash, Sun and Moon. Um, but yeah. Um, the reason why I say it's gonna get worse is because I'm sure you guys have already seen but Logan Paul's back that's what everyone's talking about right now that Logan is back and he bought a bunch of first edition booster boxes so not only was the hype already like high high it's just gonna ooh, ooh, ooh. Damn, that full art, full Galio, nice. Um, it's just gonna get worse. <sighs> if you guys haven't seen the video, he did post a video. But yeah, he's back. That's what a lot of Pokey tubers are talking about right now. And it's crazy because I remember, uh, shoot, let's say, oh man, Cinderace VMAX coming in with the poles right now. All right, it's about time. I got some good luck. Um, yeah, what was I saying? my train of thought. Um, it'll come back right now. I'm just going to go quick. Ah, yes. I remember like November when Darkness of Blaze came out. Pokemon was still like popping, but like back then, I say like it's a long time, but actually it was. It was like five months ago. Back then, the Charizard card was only worth 55000 the first edition. Base set Charizard. It's a cool promo. It was really only worth 55000 Now it's worth, I think, 300000 Something crazy like that. It's just insane. There's the pin. It's a cool pin. Um, 
yeah, it's just insane. I remember just walking down on a regular day to like Walmart or Target, and it would be in stock. I would find Darkness of Blade packs, Level Clash, sorts like Sword and Shield. I could find Burning Shadows. And this was November of 2020, keep in mind. And literally within, I'd say, two sets, because out of Darkness of Blaze, it was Champion's Path. Oops, sorry, I keep getting out of shot. I'm just focused on talking right now. I suck at multitasking, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, after Darkness of Blaze, it was Champion's Path, and then Vivid Voltage. And just within those two sets like it just everything blew up everything it was just crazy like i said back then you could collect no problem you could walk into any store and find what you wanted the only time i ever saw it as bad it was not as bad as right now though was hidden fates i remember when that set first came out oh my god was it hard to find but guess what? Everything was still there. All the Sun and Moon product was still there. Like Burning Shadows, you can find Burning Shadows. More Peko. Yeah, you can still find Burning Shadows around. Like Team Up, all, all this stuff from like Sun and Moon. That was really popular. Like, those are good sets. Like Team Up, Cosmic Eclipse, etc. And you can still find those. Everyone was just looking for hidden fakes. But now it's literally everything. Anything and everything Pokemon. It doesn't matter if it's like a unwanted set like Rebel Clash or Crimson Invasion. Guess what? It's still going. And that's just the kind of spot Pokemon is in right now. It's, you know, the hobby is fun. Though. I like it. I still collect it. But, I mean, I can't find anything, and that's what sucks. And literally, this that I have right now is pretty much all I have. Um, I believe I have two more Elite Trainer boxes. And after that, it's just my collection of, like, sealed products that I have, which I don't want to open. And everything aftermarket is so expensive, man. Like, I was looking online, for a three-pack of Burning Shadows, it's going, a three-pack Blister, it's going for, like, 30 bucks. I'm just like, dude, I don't want to pay 10 bucks a booster just to open cards. Like, it's that bad. And even just regular sets that aren't really like popular like i know sword and shield you, you could try to find these in the aftermarket these are just in my, have been in my stash that i've just been having but they go for like five six bucks now for a booster like what the hell like it's insane and that's pretty much just the point of this video i just want to talk kind of rant about the state of pokemon and, I mean, if I'm being honest, I don't think there's much Pokemon can do. Like, I'm sure they had a plan laid out, like, within this whole year. And whatever they could make off this plan, is that's it. And it's short because they didn't expect this to blow up. And it's not like they could, like, I don't know, just print more, you know? It's not that easy. You have to, like create a whole new assembly line like a whole new factory or something like that and that takes time like years you know a company just can't you know pop out like a whole assembly line out of their ass excuse my language but out of their butt like it was nothing and that's what sucks so we're gonna open this see what's in it i'm interested i've never seen anyone open this so we'll see this and 
At least it comes with four booster packs. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much just the state of Pokemon right now. You know, it's cool that it's gaining a lot of traction, but there's nothing really being done on Pokemon side. That the people that were like OG collectors, you no, know, I don't know if I consider myself an OG collector. I mean, I, I collected like around EX era, very lightly, and so as Sun and Moon. As Sun and Moon, I started to pick up, but Sorting Shields when I really, really like, started like collecting a lot, a lot. Um, but yeah, like I can't do that anymore. It's become really tough. Like I said, I can't walk in the store anymore without it being empty. Back then, you could, you know, you could walk in and find everything full. I don't know. That's just my rant. Let me know what you guys think. You know, it just sucks. And it doesn't help that people keep, like, big influencers keep coming in on this. You know, Logan, Logan Paul said he was done. Like, oh, you know, he said he wanted, like, to collect the Holy Grail, which he did. And now he's back doing something even more crazier, which is pretty much trying to monopolize the vintage Pokemon market. If you guys haven't seen the video, I recommend check it out. It's interesting, like, you know, the editing is cool, like, it's, it's really intriguing. But, I mean, you can see the outcome. He's doing bids now on his, on his breaks, because he's doing breaks, obviously. He's doing bids. Like, that's just, I can easily see a booster going for like 40, 50,000. That's gonna be insane, man. It's only gonna get worse. Everything's only gonna skyrocket. But here's this. Um, let's talk about this. It's, this item is not really a looker. It's pretty whatever. It doesn't look that great, so I don't see this as like it being worth collecting. I do get asked that sometimes. It's like, oh, is it worth collecting like this or that? Um, this, I don't think so. Just because it's really, it's really plain. It doesn't look that interesting. So here we are, go with some dice. This middle dice is rainbow, it's pretty cool. And again, I would like to apologize about my ranting. I just felt like I needed to get it out there, you know? So we got Burning Shadows, Sword and Shield Base, Rebel Clash, and Rebel Clash. Uh, what else? Some markers. These sleeves, I wonder what they look like. Ooh. That's pretty dope. I really like these. These sleeves. They're very interesting. Here. Oh, this is where the promo is from. The Danny GX promo. I've seen this like in like offer up for people trying to sell this. This is where they get it from. I was always interested, like it looks pretty cool. So that's the promo. And then you get this. I'm just a bunch of bulk. Um, and that's pretty much it. Mm, it's okay, I guess. So that was it. Uh, is it worth it? Retail price is 30 bucks. And you're really only getting... The only good things I see is you get four booster packs a promo, and some sleeves, some pretty cool sleeves. Other than that, everything is just bulk. You know, you really don't need. Is it worth it? I don't think so. For 30 bucks, no. But you know, it's your call. You know, it's your money. You do whatever you want with it. Here's the code card. Let's get these cards rolling. Alright. Carcoal. 
Eat More, Satu, Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Eplin, Jeromaka, Hirokuda, and Scizor. I mean, at this point, one one could say that this is worth getting, just because th th there was a bunch of these, like, the vendor stocked a bunch of those. So, I mean, at this point, anything Pokemon is worth buying. Like, anything. <laughs> it's gotten that crazy. Uh, let's do four to the front. Psychic Energy, Palpitoad, Morgan, Full Heal, Four Fitched, Dreepy, Home Hedge, Temple, Wow, Wallaby, Heliolisk, and Snorlax. The trainer kit. So far, I'm not doing so hot. Fire, Sobble, Pinkerchin, Blitbug, Rhyhorn, Machino, Citrus Berry, and more Pico. Oof. Oof, come on, don't do me dirty. You little toolkit. Well, definitely be not worth it if I don't get it. At least one hollow. Code card. Last one, guys. Um, we got good hits at the beginning, but we slow down a lot. Let's see if we can come back. Burning Shadows is a fire energy. Yahweh, Polygon 2, Metapod, Dynamo, Duskull, Inkay, Stuffle, Crab Roller. Tormenting Spray and Tango. Damn. Okay, so yeah. Don't get this. That <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. You guys, like I said, you guys could do what you want. I didn't get anything off that, off those four packs. I think you get these two cards. These two. These are good pulls right here. Man, this pin. I'm happy I got this pin. It's really dope. I do collect them, so. Ooh, maybe one day I'll show you guys my pink collection. Alright, guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think about the state of Pokemon. I feel like something needs to be done, but I don't think there can be anything done. So we just gotta survive with what we got. Like I said, I guess we gotta start buying these now. Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a good one. Goodbye.